All right, now we're going to start working with the piston. This is the piston for my five horsepower brakes. Uh, this particular brakes, when I took it apart, the, I inspected the piston and the rings around the piston were in good shape. However, if you did need to remove the rings for any reason and put new ones on, I have this tool here. Uh, it, it's a craftsman tool, but there are others like it. And how this would work is you'd grab the, uh, there's a gap in the ring here. Slide this in the gap and squeeze. And you're going to spread the ring out just, just enough to get it off the piston. And that's how that tool works. So we don't need that right now because the pistons are good. Now if you notice there are three rings on the piston and they have these gaps. Well when we put the piston back in the engine we want to stagger these gaps at uh, approximately 120 degrees. So what I will do is I'm going to leave the, the bottom gap here, spin the second middle ring up into that direction and then bring the top ring all the way back around here so they're about evenly spaced around a third of the way each time. Next thing we're going to do is use this tool also this happens to be the Craftsman model but there's many others like it uh, we put the piston in here and what we want to do is to leave about a quarter of an inch sticking out and we'll tighten this up and what this is going to do is squeeze the rings tight onto the piston so they're not sticking out when we put them into the engine block Tighten it a little bit more. There we go. And now we're ready to slide this into the engine block. All right, now that we've got the piston in our compressor tool, and I've got the engine block here ready to go, and I've made sure that the inside of the, the uh, um, block here is very clean and there's no scoring or anything. This is a very clean engine. What I want to do is um, add a little oil to the inside. Make sure that's lubed up really well. And then what we want to do is to take our piston we want to set it down inside here. Make sure that uh, um, this is pointed in the right direction. And then we're just going to take um, a wooden handle from a hammer and slowly tap it in. Now if there's any resistance whatsoever uh, a ring could be catching and you don't want a ring to be catching up on this. Make sure that it's, it's going to go in smoothly. Now I've got a little resistance and it's because of that. Alright, there we go. The piston is now in place. Down here is the arm, and it will line up with the camshaft there. That is top dead center, flush. And now we've inserted the piston into the engine block. Next, we'll work on connecting the rest of it up inside here.